Yo, what is up guys, this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi Note 3 and today in this video I am going to be showing you the Havoc OS 29th October build based on Android Pie. So let me just show you. Here as you can see we do have this Vaulty logo up top and by the way Vaulty works on both the sims individually like the, if you insert your Geo sim on sim slot 2 it will be working as you can see and I have like put the sim in the sim slot number 2 let me just show you here as you can see I have the sim sim slot number 2 let me just turn off the notification of oh, Facebook it's annoying all right so I have been using this ROM for like few hours now and I have to say this is like really a smooth experience as you can see and here the camera bug is not present like if you open the camera it will open up right away as you can see and let me open this GC Mod 5 as you can see the camera just opens right away let's open Instagram then try to open the camera here as you can see the camera works right away so you do not have the camera bug over here which like happens in the pixel experience ROM latest build which I did a video on yesterday so if you were worried about that bug that bug is not present over here so you do not need to worry and this is the quick settings panel by the way the quick toggles you can edit and add more stuff from here as you can see we have a lot of stuff over here you can add bunch of stuff and you can enable night light if you want that and inside hotspot let me just show you We do have the 5 GHz band option over here in the hotspot settings. Let's go back and I am using this Android Pie navigation gesture or this, this button. And you can switch between apps. Let me just open some apps and show you the app open up speeds at the same time. So as you can see I have opened couple of apps and as you can see this swipe up gesture works super fine. You can do it from anywhere and here we will get the recent panel and this is smooth the, the ROM is like really really smooth and you can open multiple apps from here and the chrome has four stops somehow. File explorer is in memory, Twitter is in memory, play store in memory, YouTube is in memory too audio recorder is in memory instagram is in memory so the ram management is really really good you can switch between apps just like this as you can see works super fine and here you can increase or decrease the brightness like this not only this one we have a bunch of customizations in this rom let me just show you in the settings and here we will find this havoc settings option and here as you can see we have a lot of customizations inside status bar we have the double tap to sleep if you want that and let me just show you the fingerprint scanner speed as you can see the fingerprint scanner is fast but not too fast it's pretty decent and we have the brightness control which i showed you already and we do have quick pull down smart pull down a lot of customizations you will get over here and the faulty icon is over here as you can see and you can enable 4g icon instead of lte you can enable the headset icon like the status bar icons from here headset bluetooth hotspot etc icons let's go back and one thing that i like is you have like all the gestures you will need and the corners over here on this ROM are rounded. Just notice the corners over here. As you can see, all the four corners are rounded in this ROM, which I like. And here you will get a lot of gestures. As you can see, we do have the navigation bar up here. 
which I enabled already, you, it does this pixel-like animation. If I tap and hold it, it does launch the Google Assistant, as you can see. Let me just go in the customization section and here you can customize the recent panel too to Omni Switch if you want that and you can change the recent panel type to Oreo too if you like the old Oreo type recent apps panel look. You can enable like a lot of customizations from here. Inside gestures we do have the system gesture this swipe up gesture and stuff and we have the swipe to take screenshot as you can see. And we have the swipe gestures, the custom gestures if you need, like the, if you swipe from the right, from the left, etc. And you have a lot of gestures over here. We do have edge gestures too if you need that somehow. And let me just show you. As you can see, it even does this animation. So I really like these kind of customizations, the full screen gestures and stuff on a 6 inch to 9 display looks awesome. And the stock launcher over here is the pixel launcher and it does have this Google Now cards to the left and it does have tap and hold functionality if you need that. Let me just go inside it and let me customize the gesture. Let's set it to 0ms so that it can be a little bit quicker. Alright, it's pretty fine now. You can clear all the apps just like this and you can go to the recent panel just like let me show you you can just go to home like this you can swipe up and hold to get the recent panel so this is pretty cool talking about the customizations i gotta say if you want a daily drive with a rom this is one of the like perfect roms out there because this rom does offer a lot of customizations some of them are like this like power button toggle torch while the screen is off this feature is really really good and it does like help me in daily usage and i love this feature literally and there are some things like the advanced reboot and stuff which does help in daily -day life too if you want to flash custom roms this will definitely help you because you can directly boot into recovery and fast boot and whatever you need so this is one of the great roms and it I feel it really is better than the Pixel Experience ROM in terms of customizations because if you need customizations on top of Android Pie, there are a few ROMs which has the stability and this one does have the stability. Let me just show you the about section now. Let's go to system, about phone, Android version. As you can see Android version is 9. Let me just decrease the brightness a little bit maybe. and. Here, as you can see, this is based on Android Pie and it does show up this Android Pie Easter egg. Let's go back and over here, we do have the Havoc OS version. As you can see, Havoc OS version 2 and 29th October 2018 build, official build by the way. And the security patch is of October 5th, 2018. And this is based on the pre-release 2. The stock kernel over here is Lineage OS kernel. So you'll get like decent battery life, not too great but you will definitely get like three to four hours of screen on time pretty much pretty easily let's go back considering this is an old device it's not a problem for me you can check for updates from here too but it says this build uh, you can't check updates from here it just says this build does not support OT updates so it might be implemented in the future and one thing that I am not really liking is the Google Pay simply is not working over here. Let me just show you. As you can see, it says Google Pay can't be used on this device. So this is a downside. But if you want to use Google Pay on this device, you need to flash Magisk. Then you can use Magisk Hide. And if you don't know how to do that, and if you want to use Google Pay, here is a card for you that will help you if you want to use Magisk Hide. And you can enable Google Pay with that. Like just watch that video if you don't know how to enable Google Pay with Magisk. And so the ROM is pretty much smooth. You do not have to worry about the lags and stuff. I do not see any kind of lags over here. The ROM feels pretty smooth for daily driving considering this is an old device. So in my opinion, 
the Redmi Note 3 runs Android Pie pretty fine and if you ask me that if it's better than Pixel Experience, I'll say Pixel Experience has a different taste but considering Pixel Experience the latest build does have some bugs with the camera, you can definitely flash this Havoc OS instead of that because over here I feel there are a lot more stability and lot more stuff like the customizations are present over here and a lot of stuff like feels a little bit smoother. And the gaming performance too is pretty similar what you can get with any other custom ROMs and you can play a decent PUBG if you need that. So yeah, that is pretty much it. That's all I had to say for this video guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. This is Tito from Carry and Tech signing off for today and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye bye now.